in James 4, 8, he said, draw close to me. You have to draw close to me and I will draw close to you and the life comes from there. So the Lord says very clearly, build up your faith in me. Even when I am not seen, even when you see your problems are going beyond yourself, even when you see the answer is not come, delaying is not denying. Even when things happen, looks as though everything is gone. Look at the scripture, read the word, spend the time with the word. You will understand what happened to Job, what happened to Joseph in the Old Testament. What happened to Mother Mary in the New Testament? What happened to Saul who became Paul? Didn't I stand with them? In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16, St. Paul says, When I was standing in front of the judges, there was nobody to stand for me. But my God stood by me and he brought me out of the mouth of the lion. Karad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, this experience all of us have to receive by making the presence of God available to us through the faith. Through faith we appropriate the presence of God. Make alive the presence of God and allow the presence of God to handle our lives. God is calling us. Build up your faith in me. I am almighty. Capable of, capable to protect you wherever you are, in whatever situation you are. I love you eternally. Believe in my love. Get up early morning. Fill yourself with my light. Then darkness will not come. When you are in need of light, you may not seek light. So as soon as you get up, fill, my, fill your heart, fill your mind with my love. With my presence, spend time in worship. Even if you have no time, you just got up and you are rushing to the office. On the way, get, get your mind in touch with me to the truth that I am your God. I am your Father. Be still and know that I am God. And this God is your God. Psalm 46, 10. Yes. This is what the Lord says. Make your life worship. Build up your love life with me. Carry me and I will handle where you cannot handle your life. So the Lord says, remember my love, my eternal love for you and fill yourself with my love and celebrate your life. Call on me. Yes. I, I heard a mother I dressed up a baby boy nicely. He was studying his uh, first class. Nice boots his father had brought. And the mother put the shoe for the child. And a nice different carrier made of steel, different carrier. Because this boy will run here and there. It may fall. So nice different carrier. She put the lunch for the boy and dressed up nicely with the powder, this and that, and sending him, say goodbye, preparing for daddy. The boy went out, opened the door and came out, and he saw a small scorpion, and he said, Mommy! He left the hands. The food fell down, and the scorpion, as though it is looking at the boy, it was shaking its tail. And when he saw, he was pulling his dress, he knew his attention. He didn't know what is he doing. He cried, Mommy! Then the boy who was going on the main road. He came and saw the scorpion and he just crushed it with his chapel and he went away. Mommy came out and saw. Son, what happened? The food is thrown away. The tiffin carrier is gone. Fallen and the food is scattered. And his own dress is He's pulled down the dress. He's looking naked. And his face is so much tensed and crying. Full of tears. Mother embraced him and said, Son, Daddy has given you a nice shoe. This is after a small scorpion. You could have crushed it. 
or I have given you strong different carrier made of steel, you could have crushed it. Or you could have called that man who went. He could have done it. Why are you? Have you allowed the situation to rule you? Have you forgotten what your mummy has given to you? The daddy has given you the shoe and the tiffin carrier and how much love I am just inside and so many people are outside. You could have even just crossed and gone away. My son, what has happened to you? That's what exactly thing happens to all of us. Yes. Mommy is asking, I gave you the boots. You could have crushed it. God is also telling you as the same. I have given you my word. I have given you my presence. I have given you my promises. I have loved you so many times. So many experiences. You could have built up your life with those past experiences. How God stood with me. Why have you allowing? Why are you allowing your situation to ruin you? Your problems to fill your mind and make you tension and to take wrong decisions in life? Is it because your tensions are stronger than my presence? And the Lord, you could have used the different carrier, the steel, you could have crushed it, mummy said. You are bigger than the scorpion. You could have crossed it and gone. Or you could have called on me or somebody else. Look what. Look what happens. What you do when you don't use what I have given you. Mommy said, look what happens when you don't use what I have given to you. You have thrown away the food I gave you. Your clothes are spoiled. Your confidence is gone. The time to go to school is gone. Build up your confidence on mummy. And all mummy has given to you. God is calling us. Many only see the problems and allow their lives to be built by their own problems. They allow their lives to be built by their own, the people who trouble them or the situation that pains them. That's what the Lord is calling us today. Life is by taking time to feed oneself with who God is and who am I. Every day, we need to feed ourselves with this truth. Jesus said in John 8.32, whether we like it or not, we are not in heaven, we are in the world. So the problems of the world, the evil spirits that are roaming in the world, and our own incapability will continue to affect us. But we should feed ourselves with the presence of God with the power of God, with the love of God. And we have to build up what is lacking in the world, what is lacking in us, with what God gives us and move on in life and celebrate life. My dear friends, that's what the Lord is telling us. Take time to build up yourself in the truth. John 8.32 it is the truth alone will set you free. If you don't feed yourself, get up in the morning and you cannot handle the problem that comes in the afternoon. When the rain comes in the month of June, July, we, we fill our dams. That, that water should not go wasted. And in the month of even March, April, May, so much summer heat. But the water is there. Because we have stored, we can use it. Even in the month of May, we can have the crops if we have plenty of water. Yes, get up morning. Feed yourself. 
fill yourself with his presence with his truth who we are who god is and how does he want us to live on this earth how to handle the problems before the problems come god wants us to fill us every morning to feed us with the truth that's why jesus said in john 8:39 if the son of god delivers you you are delivered indeed Thank mm-hmm. you.